All right, hello there. I am Pepper One, and this is AOS Virtual Progressive Two Show AA, and we're getting ready to get started with the first of three for the final division, the Absolute Divisions Fist by Chance Qualifier. So we're on the last three Fist by Chance Qualifier tournaments of Show AA, and they're all for the Absolute Division. Now. There's something that's been taking up a lot of my time. I actually stopped doing my workout like I usually do. And I'm going to have to take a break for it. But I'm going to explain that in a second once we get done with this. So there you go. You see the five, I mean four people involved in the first one. My bad. I almost said five. There's only four of them involved in this. So yeah. I, what? I haven't been on here a while. So let me do this. So... Gotta make sure this sound doesn't go in and out on me. Okay. Alright, now that all that's done, now we can go in the game. I know I gotta finish up Custom Robo V2, man. I'm still not I'm still not at the part that I need to get back to on that game. As you know, this shit been set up, so, you know, I'm just checking on here right quick to make sure he got all his stuff, so, yep, all his stuff is on here, then we can get started. I forget, is he shoot wrestling or what? God damn it. You know, before we get started, we gotta show you the rules in English right quick. So these are the rules for our Absolute Divisions Fist by Chance Qualifier. As you can see right there, everything should be the same over here. With it being five minutes, pinfall and TKO is turned on, along with time decision. Give up is turned on, and the blood stoppage with quick match, interference, and rope break all being turned off. It's false count anywhere, as you know, and this is with the Tokyo Dome with the ramp. Let's make sure it's on the hardest difficulty right quick. We get started with this point. So this is your first time seeing Final. Now I couldn't make him exactly like how I would have created him for um, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Smackdown Shut Your Mouth was a pretty good game to me. I should have thought Here Comes the Pain back then. Cause like I had, it was um, I didn't get the freaking the 60. I mean the PS2 wrestling games to like 2010 or something, way after um PS3 was came out. Oh crap! I forgot to do something. I forgot to skip that. Oh well. Yeah. But anyways, let's get started with this. They both do a little taunting. Yeah, I would like to, um, no, because, like, the newer wrestling games got the same capabilities for me, like, showing you, like, their looks and stuff. So, like, yeah, but I do want to get, um, Here Comes the Pain. I'll probably get that for the computer or whatever like that. And, like, do some simulations for that game. But, as I was saying earlier, we got another game now that we're going to be doing simulations for. I'm going to do a tournament. We're going to be... Pretty much a lot of different tournaments going on all at the same time and stuff like that. For a game, I may even attempt to create a character or two. But that shit, though, like, it's, it's a little bit more complicated. I'll tell you more about that game and about the game that has been taking up a lot of my time for the, in the past two days. I actually stayed up an extra freaking 12 hours, like... I was smoke for more than freaking what? Damn near. Let's see. I was probably woke for over freaking almost. No, I was nowhere near 48 hours. Probably almost 40. If not a little bit less than that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, and that um double ear clap. 
I think that's what that's called, the double ear trap. That um, actually does kill damage for this character. You like it. And yes, he's the only one that I can remember like his height and his weight. So I forgot with the centimeter, what 235 centimeters supposed to mean. I think it's just under eight feet because I know that 30 centimeters equal a foot. So once you get to 210, I believe you're 10 centimeters. You're Seven feet. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah. Is the number of feet tall or whatever like that? Yeah. So, he's over seven feet tall. Down near. Probably, probably seven. He's probably seven, eight or something like that. I'll look it up. Once we get done with this, I'll look it up and see what the exact measurement for this fight is. Oh, he just got no blow right there. Then got hit with a headbutt. Yeah, I got. I think I got a character who utilizes that headbutt now. I think Oni utilizes it, and somebody else may utilize that headbutt as well. I know for sure it's Oni. One of the characters that utilizes that headbutt. Yeah, so early on in the match, when you're going to get super heavyweight, you're not going to be able to really, like, pick him up. And yeah, he's shoot wrestling. I thought he was. I wasn't too sure what I did this particular character. I think he's my only super heavyweight that he needs shoot wrestling. Yeah, his style is shoot wrestling. I don't think the other super heavyweight does shoot wrestling. Because there's this guy, there's Yokozuna, who you just saw. Not too long ago, he was part the uh, fist by chance qualifier for the what? What was that? The uh, MMA division. I think I had another one. He was for the grappling division. Yeah, that was um. Oh yeah, um. Tsunami. Yeah, Tsunami was for the grappling division, and then you saw one of them who actually won the dub team fist by chance qualifier, and I believe that was. The Brute Mayhem, yeah, and his, him and his teammate, um, what was his teammate name? Oh yeah, the Muscle Panic, yeah, they won their qualifier. Yeah, but what you think about it so far? Is this the spot on the screen? Every other day, yeah, call the movie and stuff. Like, I, I can watch people do live streams, I just can't watch it for Call of Duty. Because everybody's good at fucking Call of Duty. Like, you know, there's no point to it. But I do watch his live stream at times because he does it for that, um, Battle Royale mode. I forgot how, I forgot what move he used. And because this shit's in Japanese. This can't tell you exactly what move he used either. But anyway, progress the final. Let's see who will face off with him in the final. God damn it. Or should I say finals? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, man, the blood stoppage is a good way to, like. Hey! Give characters who don't necessarily use TKO moves or don't have a lot of grappling moves or submission moves, give them a chance to like win some qualifier matches if they can utilize their moves to do blood damage. Because this is another character whose use of the headbutt can cause him to get a blood stop victory. But, what's it called? Um, Fuyuki? Yeah, Fuyuki. Fuyuki? He's, he's won Fist by Chance qualifiers before. I, for, I forget. I think he won before for the um, PW division. I'm not sure if he came to the spot of that division, though. But yeah, he's good at the qualifier matches. 
There's a ton of cats who they're good at crossbow right It's just that like you can't get the finish or work like that for like ranking matches and stuff like that, then like, you're not gonna be able to progress because most ranking matches are what? Ranking matches and tire matches they go up to fifteen to twenty minutes. You know? Fifteen for everything except for double team and you know grappling because grappling is two ten minute rounds which is twenty minutes and the double team is twenty minutes and there is one for number for tennis match. So you gotta be able to stay in a match for that long if you kinda of winning on a time decision. But after you and beat down your opponent for over, if you've been dominating a match for over 10 minutes, you should be able to eventually just get the pinfall or submission victory you know, after that much of time. Once you got them wear down to the point where almost anything can beat them, then anything will beat them and stuff like that. That's what I like about this thing. That's realistic, you know. I understand how, you know, promotions try to like have to win with their finishers and this side and the other, but if you've been going at it with somebody for over a half an hour, you don't hit your finisher like three or four times. Like certain other moves should be able to garner you the victory once the opponent is you know been beat down for that round or just playing exhaustion. You know, because your endurance already took a hit and that means both, you know, how much pain you're in and also your stamina. So I'm sure that is also a hurt. You should be able to win with separate things in the match. But this game, that shit kicks in after 10 minutes because 10 minutes is, you know, really 15 minutes because it's time and a half for this one. So in, every minute they're in the ring, they're actually in there for a minute 30. Instead of 60 seconds, they're in there for 90 seconds. That's I finally found that out when it comes to these singles matches. I think the same thing goes for, you know, the Battle Royale and the tag team matches. I could be wrong about that. Maybe slightly more. I'm not sure. Could be. The time and a half for every, for, uh, every second, that's a lot. Not to try to trade with these clothes lines because this clothes line is good, but you know, show show clothes line does KO damage. His does KO damage, so he is tempting his. It's good on him because he can get the you know TKO damage, or KO damage, or whatever like that. So if you can land yours, that's good as well. But. get this time decision at this point because he's been definitely dominating this match. Shosu has not got too much off the top of the Ricky, Ricky, I'm gonna call him Ricky even though there's no guarantee. Yeah, let's call him Ricky. Close to him. So, still in there, but the thing is, he's still in there. But like, he's gonna need to do something. I believe he needs Ricky needs to freaking finish. And, and this guy's what 50 or so seconds. He needs to finish. Yes. 
some offense off. Try to go for that damn clothesline is what he probably needs to do. He can win qualifier matches and stuff like that, but it's, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not even gonna say final wins this because who knows how this can go, you know? Because you can never count him out as you saw in that match. If he if he can keep you from getting your offense off, he can win any qualifier, I believe. There's a lot of these guys who are just capable of being anybody when it comes to qualifiers. Because they have a hard time in the finish at times. This match could possibly go either way. It's just that for Yuki he ain't gonna be able to do the stuff we just saw him doing in that last match. He's not gonna be able to you know when you go and get super heavyweights you don't do the traditional you like moves with certain moves that you do. You can still do your DTs and this and that but you don't get to actually go for a lot of your stuff. You gotta go for the other version of your moves and stuff like that. Which is that um, death flip, scoop slam, because it's a super heavyweight. And the other thing I believe you gotta go for is you also gotta go for the belly to, I mean, yeah, belly to back um, death flip suplex when you got that back. But he could possibly pull this off because he uses headbutts and stuff like that. And like any move that doesn't involve lifting the opponent, you can still use those with your grapple. They'll still be your standard grapple capability of moves being able to be used. But like, oh, virtual sequences? I didn't know that. Okay, so you can still use certain moves. I didn't know. I think he had to go for the what's the name? He goes for a death note. Yeah, I thought he had to go for this if he tried to go for a break. I guess not. The reverse arm bar. And why is there a different um, reversal? Oh, yeah, that's right. And they go for a power bomb, I guess. Second release. Get back in this man, that's like the second kind of hit in the row. Get back in this. Oh, the double ear clap finally knocked him down. Now he's dazed, which he should be. You know, as big as this dude is, if he does a ear clap, you know, he should be dazed getting up unimaginably just because he's that fucking huge. Like, he's like bigger than. What wrestlers are gonna say? He's bigger than the Big Show and Great Khali combined. You know, bigger than the Buster. That's 
swaps like you know, right there. Yeah, he'll be able to utilize that. that and that's what the um I, I forget what it's called. I think it's called special junior heavyweight reversal or whatever like that, because it's basically a crucial weight like reversal. You no, know, that's what the junior heavyweights are. That's basically what they call them here the the crucial weights, you know, the junior heavyweights. I think junior heavyweight is anybody under either 220 pounds or 225 pounds. Right? Is the junior heavyweight? Yeah, which is better than being over 205. You know? Two or five live, which is the they use and stuff like that. So they're crucial weights. That's basically like heavyweight and um you know, in the main. Made like heavyweight in two hundred and five pounds. That's not against a UFC because UFC is not in the main promotion. I hate when I hear people say that. They go like, oh, oh, you talk about UFC. No, I'm talking about MMA in general, motherfucker. Like, it's, it's not one thing. It's more than one promotion out there. Best one is the UFC. That's the same thing when you hear people talk about pro wrestler. They don't say pro wrestler. They just say WWE. It's a WWE move. Like, what the fuck you mean by that? Like, The main, the, the, the top one is not the only one out there. Oh yeah, I forgot I gave him that. Yeah, he's the big, he's, he's the, he's the largest guy I created so far as far as weight to height ratio. You know, he's the, the largest one. Well, maybe not the most. No, he is. Yeah, because what's the name is Big too. Yeah, as big as him. Damn. Uh, why did you get back up? Characters that body shot. I give too many characters that body shot already. I have so many characters who use that body shot for kill damage. Two of them use it for blood damage though. And I think I got one or two who use it for blood In order to perform the death of moves on this game, like basically, you gotta have your energy that be higher than that to make sure that that. Alright, congrats to final. I'm not even that happy. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. He won. One of my characters won. I'm not even that happy. It's like, 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 it's not that I knew that he was going to win, because I told you before the match even started that, like, I know who was going to come out on top between those two. Son of a whore. Son of a whore. Blade is the final, you know, fifth spot chance qualifier.
Let me take a look at how big Tsunami is. I think Tsunami is significantly heavier than him. Yep, he's 225. Is he the heaviest? I believe that's the heaviest we got on here. Him. Yeah. Basically, he's what? For every 10 kilograms, that's 22 pounds. And then every five is five pounds. So, you know, you put 40, you put um, 44 pounds. No, wait a minute. I can do it easier than that. Yeah, you can do it easier than that. He's 55. He's 490, 495 pounds. And the way you get that is 200 kilograms is every 100 is two is. 110 so that's your 440 pounds and then 25 because every 50 if you know that every 50 is 110 pounds wait a minute every 50 is 110 oh yeah that does make sense yeah so if every 50 is 110 pounds then every 25 is 55 there you go. Then, they're not heavier than this motherfucker. 200. I, can't, I say it again. 255 kilograms. He's well over the 500 pound mark. That's fine. He's actually. Because, you know, every 50 is 110, so he's 550 pounds plus an extra 11 pounds. 5,561 pounds. God damn. That's massive. And then we go in here. Let's go to the. Let's just. I'm just showing you the weights of all my heaviest characters. See, these characters are all on the taller side. You know, he's 330 pounds to 250 pounds. He's a good 14 kilograms heavier than him, but then he's only 208. That ain't nothing. 208. Well, that's still something, because he's a super heavyweight, and he's, he's 3 kilograms heavier than, you know, than final. And then you just saw this one not too long ago. And he's 230. Okay, he's my heaviest then. He's 230. I didn't know he was heavier than him. Yeah. He's 230, so he's my heaviest super heavyweight. I didn't know he was 230. I thought he was smaller than that. Yeah, cause he's on here. He's only 225. He's outweighed him by five. But he's way taller than him. Though. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we can get off of this. Oh, wait. No, I think I'm done with everything for that game. Wait, oh, no, I can I can always set that off up offline, you know. Yeah, I don't need to necessarily be on there because I'm not even utilizing none of my characters. Only other character I got utilized is DD4 Blaze, and he's not into the the next one. So, oh, we got to go on here, and yeah, I only been playing this for like a day or two, but. This game in particular is what kept my ass. I forgot why I stopped playing this game back then. Cause this takes up too much of my time playing goddamn Pokemon. This is green. This is leaf green. I always call it green leaf, but it's leaf green. And like, yeah, I recently figured out how to save. And the only reason I started playing this for so long, cause I recently figured out how to save my progress with the game. But I like this feature. I forgot about this. Where it does like a little like backtrack previously on your quest and you know found that and then I right here and this is where I saved the game at. That's where I saved the game at right here in front of the computer thing. Yes. I gotta learn how not to play that game. Oh. Cause 
I'm gonna be off that game for a while, but one thing I can show you is this. This is gonna be the newest wrestling game you'll see me doing on here. Probably until I can get to the point where I can do the newer Fire Pro Wrestling games. You know, Fire Pro Wrestling Return. No, probably not Returns. Probably just go straight to World. Yeah. Returns is a good game, but World seems like it may be an even better one. But this one ain't that bad in itself. So this one, and this is the first one for Game Boy Advance. This is Fire Pro Wrestling on Game Boy Advance. And like, I realized this part came out around the PS2 era and the GameCube and Xbox era of games and stuff like that, consoles or whatever. So, you know, this is like mid 2000s or whatever like that when this game first came out. Or the early, you know. But like, oh yeah, basically what we got going on, we got this tournament, and these are all different like this is at least 16 of the different like MMA style characters that's on this game and stuff like that. You see that I can actually like save and stuff. I can I'm actually press that but like what I basically have to do with this I'll talk about that in a second like let's just go to uh, let's just go here yeah so what they mean by gruesome is is a match in the goddamn octagon ring. It literally says that. See, look. When you do gruesome, you're in the octagon ring and you can turn up the, you know, AI level to this and stuff like that. One thing that I don't care for with this is the fact that there's no, not like virtual pro wrestling 2, you can't do a you can't do a time decision, as in you can't decide a winner if you just want to go with like five minutes or this. And this match evaluation is just how good was the match. And like I don't give a fuck what the computer thinks or what you think about how good the match is. Like, tell me who won. If the match doesn't if the match goes the distance, tell me who the fuck won. But anyway, we'll be doing all of our stuff because the tournament settings is it's gruesome with those 16 characters that's the setting for it and which means it's in the octagon and also there's no time limit. So I'll be doing this in a little bit for that tournament in particular. I just randomly picked 16 of them from the different MMA like backgrounds and stuff. Characters that look like they were in the MMA background stuff. But the main thing I like about this is like we go in here for this character edit. And it's just this stuff, you know. This stuff. This stuff is alright right now. Blood of nerd awareness. There's this and that. Foot strength, arm strength, weight strength. And that's all well and good. Those are for the skills, but they got this stuff on here. This is this is another category that's on here. This is pretty good because you go in here and like and the same amount is on the other side as well. I think it's probably like nine or ten of them on each side. And you give that points and stuff. My main thing is come on, computer logic. And I'm pretty sure this was with all the Fire Pro Wrestling games, and there's more stats than what I like with the game I got. Cause, cause you see this standing, small, large damage. Then you got front grapple, and you can pick between small and large, and then back. You know this and that, and then you got throw the ropes. You got days in the corner, you got down corner, what? I don't know. Near death, large damage, large small damage, and then you got what? Oh, fake. Down center, uh, down, face up, down, face down. Oh, that's when it, that's for ground attacking them. Or ground moves and stuff. Okay, yeah, we got this. 
standing up. Days. Standing. Standing days in corner. Standing center. Standing days. What's the standing center? What does that mean? I gotta figure all that shit out. Hold on. I guess I could go with the look for now. Something like that. Press for minute medium. I gotta change the goddamn color.
sensitivity on here is stupid. I just want them to be regular. Where, I, where is the regular one? Oh, did I even see? Bro, what that down here is the name, bro. So. Now I gotta be into the damn name, because I ain't load up the character first. Bro, I ain't changed up the really about the character yet. I'm not gonna be making a lot of characters for this game. I'm gonna spend a couple of one character for now. But anyway, this term is coming up and it's using the uh, gruesome rules, which is the MMA rules, and they're gonna be in the octagon and everything else, so that's what's coming up. Let me see something though. Let me see. I'm gonna go to normal and then You only be in that when you're doing okay, that makes sense. And if I pick gruesome, so everything's already set for when you do gruesome and that. Now let's see if we could do I can't put them in the fucking... Oh, so that's one limitation to it. Yeah. Probably gonna do just a couple of these different types of tournaments on here. So yeah, that ends it with this game. So let's see. So we can. That's the only other thing is when you exit out, it does that shit. I already took up too much time with that game. Yeah, I haven't done this yet, the River City Ransom thing, but I want to try to play that one as well. Yeah, Game Boy Advance, I could try to play those games, but yeah, 
Main thing was that then we get we'll be done with this video in just a second. But yeah, so anybody who has this emulator, like cause this one in particular is no longer available, but basically what I had to do was I had to take the games that I have for Game Boy that was sitting right here on here and put them on I transferred those onto here, the internal storage, and that's why it allows me to save the gameplay. And we're gonna have to get off of here, cause yeah, how much is this video doing at this current moment in time? We're doing yeah, 400. That's not bad, but this shitty ass phone that barely has. 700 MB on it. it used to be almost eight something, but now it's even less. I don't know how when I took off the previous game. Yeah, what's going on with those people? Yeah, so to the next one later and all that other good stuff. And yeah, know why I got us. Yeah, Pokemon. I just play that game too. That's because it's goddamn turn based. I hate turn based RPGs because all thing you can do is rank up you know you can't really go into the battle because it's not um action combat rpg where like you know you're moving around and shit like that those i will go into battle no matter what my level my character is just because it's about the fighting but with these type of games and stuff like that where there's turn-based ones you gotta fucking get your shit. You gotta have your character ranked up higher before you can go on the thing. The way I do that is, I don't sit inside the little grass things fighting people. I'll go into freaking battles and I'll use my weak. I'll send out my weak Pokemon, then I transfer them with the Pokemon who has you know an advantage versus the Pokemon that's stronger than it. And then that way my weaker Pokemon gets some of the health. Unless the weak Pokemon has like Sing or Sleeping Powder or Hypnosis or some type of ability. I like Confusion a lot. That in um, Supersonic. I like that shit a lot because it confuses them and makes them attack themselves, which can also help a weaker Pokemon. But other than that, like if they're not using that shit, I have to transfer them out with the Pokemon that actually has the ability to destroy that one. That's enough about shitty ass Pokemon. Alright, so it's to the next one later.